This documentary is going to observe and challenge the views of young people by the older generations and see whether people really believe what the media says. Uh, hello guys, my name is Arnold O. Cheng, a uh, full-time actor. Used to be a musician when I was younger. Go by the name of Snakey Man, but that was then, not now. Um, most people know me for playing characters in uh, Top Boy, Adulthood, Kidhood, 4321, My Brother the Devil. 100% I did realise the negative stereotypes <clears throat> when I was younger. I don't think they enforce negative stereotypes. I think they, I think at the end of the day, <clears throat> It's art, and there's truth behind art, and I believe what, what adulthood, kiddohood, and Top Boy done was bring the truth to people's TV screens and bring the truth to people's lives. You gotta remember, the deprived areas in London are, they're, you know, they're small communities compared to you know, Great Britain as a whole. So people, someone in Yorkshire or someone out of London is not, you know, they don't know what's actually happening in these streets. So films like, like adulthood and kiddohood and, and shows like Top Boy, they just told the truth. You know, not always people have to be a rapper or an actor or, you know, shine the light on a, uh, someone who's studying medicine. You know, shine, shine a light on a lawyer, shine a light on, a, on a, you know, normal jobs. But people that are just sticking out, of, staying out of trouble, but doing well for themselves and earning an honest living. Shine a light on that and then people will aspire to do those sort of things. It's a, it's a small percentage of people that give the youth or yeah, give the youth a bad name when it comes to that. It's a small percentage, and they're the ones that are being put in the media. Do you know what I mean? We need to emphasize and focus on the majority who are not doing um, all these bad things. And as I said, champion them. I think, I think the media portray a lot of people negatively. They just want to sell papers and sell adverts, and they'll just They'll, they'll make a mountain out of a molehill. I think people are starting to wake up. I think people are waking up with the internet being so prevalent now, yeah. Absolutely. People are getting wise to it. Oh no, we deal with young people all the time. In this area, they're all quite good. Don't have much trouble with them. Like young people are perhaps being taken a bit more seriously. I was saying this to a friend, the older you get, the more conservative you get. And so I sometimes tuck tuck when people are talking loud on their phones or people have got their seat or I mean their feet on seats on trains or you know, occasionally I get a bit grumpy like that, you yeah. Know? Uh, but I would say generally, you know, I have to remember what it's like to be young for young people at yeah. the moment. So in some ways you just kind of say, Well, young people have never had it so good and yet you never had it so bad. So. Mm. I think certainly being heard more um, and being heard more, um, having having more of a, uh, a say in things, yeah, um, and um, perhaps breaking the stereotype of what issues perhaps young people are always expected to talk about. In the aftermath of the riots, the newspaper headlines showed a heavy coverage of the younger people involved, with derogatory words being used such as scum, yops and mobs. Although there was an over-representation of youth in the riots, this, is, this could easily be the result of underlying tensions with the police. Young people in urban areas, particularly those of minority ethnic groups, have had countless negative experience with the police. Thank you.